It's finally tournament. In case you guys didn't know, the DKC community is currently hosting a DKC2 Any% percent tournament, which you can check out by following twitch.tv slash DKC speedruns. Most, if not all, the matches will be restreamed there, with commentary provided by other members of the community. We just got done with this weekend's qualifier races, which have been used for seeding, and the brackets for the main event just got released. So this video is going to be me going over the brackets and giving my overall thoughts about the way they look and potential matchups down the line. Let's get started. Shout out to Clayton, by the way, did a very nice job of laying those out. We have uh, four divisions, the Squawks division, the Squitter division, the Ratley division, the Engard division, and there's going to be the Rambies losers bracket, which coming soon, obviously, because no one has played yet. So, I am here. In the Squawks division, I have a buy round one because my qualifier time was strong enough for me to get one. So right off the bat, like, both this matchup and this matchup are gonna be really close. So yeah, Brot Neo has a 43-53 and Crosby has a 44-25. So these guys are really close in PBs with each other. And they've been putting a lot of work into improving the, their times recently. So I'm really excited to see how this match is gonna turn out. I mean, also part of the reason why is because I'm gonna be playing the winner. Now, this matchup, Chillex versus Tu Chen, their PBs are also really close. Uh, Chillex with a 39-49, and Tu Chen with a 39-36. So if their D-Rust leads them to get close to their PBs, then we could be looking at a really strong race. Leading up to the semi-finals of this round, uh, I could totally see uh, Blueberry versus Panda down here, and it would be anybody's game, really. Uh, they're both uh, very strong DKC2 runners. Blue with a low 39, Panda with a mid 38. Panda actually uh, one of the strongest runners of this tournament. I'm gonna make a totally humble call and say that I will make it to the end of this bracket. Moving along to the Squitter division. Honestly, I think this is stacked. There are a lot of really strong and competent DKC2 runners in this bracket. You have uh, both SBD Wolf and LZ being uh, respectively uh, number two and four on the leaderboards. A bunch of like really good runners down here. Like you have Icterus who just recently got a 39. Anankas who is a household name in DKC3 and also has a strong time in DKC2. And my boy Waffle. Waffle who has a mid 38. As far as matchups go, Bright Wolves versus Parsec is gonna be a real close one. Bright Wolves has a 44-40 and Parsec has a 44-21. A matchup I'm personally interested in seeing as well is Sylvite versus Cars. And another name of interest in this bracket is Cosmic. Cosmic, the Super Mario Bros. legend. Uh, who picked up DKC2 for a 12 hour challenge actually and got sub hour during it. If he puts in the time during this tournament, I'm very curious to see how low his DKC2 time can go. I feel like this bracket has a lot of potential for upsets. I feel like uh, one of the uh, final spots uh, for this bracket can be taken by either SBD Wolf, Icterus, or Anankas with uh, probably wa between Waffle and LZ duking it out for the bottom spot, but anything can happen, really. This is easily the bracket I'm the most excited for as a spectator. Now moving along to uh, the Ratley division. Shouts to my boy Ratley, by the way. And shouts to uh, Halzen, who earned himself a buy by having a very strong qualifier time. Uh, now as far as matchups go, Diomes versus Germro is a matchup I'm pretty interested in seeing. All of the other matchups, at least as far as round one is concerned, are fairly uneven. I feel like a lot of action is going to pick up uh, in this bracket though, starting from uh, quarterfinals onwards. I feel like it's going to be uh, between 
Halzen and Eason at the end. Uh, they are the two strongest runners of this bracket. A dark horse pick would be my man Gil42. Gil is on the path for a 39 and he easily has the potential to get one. Last but not least, the Angard division. Tonkatsu is the one who has had the strongest time out of this division and earned himself a buy for the first round. A couple of interesting things about this division is the fact that we have both Juice and DNA coming out of retirement to play this tournament, which is very exciting. They're both very strong runners and I'm looking forward to see what they can do this tournament. Other than that, two matchups I'm interested with are Parisian Player versus Well. Parisian Player has a 43-29 and Well has a 45-08. Another matchup I'm interested in seeing from this division is Moto Kong versus Forte. Uh, Moto Kong with a 43-42 and Forte with a 48-58 with uh, a lot of potential to improve for both of these runners. Uh, this should be an exciting one. Now, as far as uh, who will take this division down, Tonkatsu is the most active and consistent runner out of this division. Uh, he won the DKC2 race at HDQ a couple weeks ago. Krypton is a very strong runner as well uh, with a mid-38. Both Krypton and Tonkatsu have really close PBs. Uh, I think it could go either way, but I want to say Tonkatsu's consistency might give him the edge for that matchup if it were to happen. So that's about it. Uh, I didn't want to make this video too long. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Let me know uh, which bracket you guys are the most excited for. Hope you guys enjoy the tournament. Hope to see you guys in the DKC speedruns chat and keep on rolling deep. Thanks for watching.